Hi everyone and welcome to the next Brilliant Labs Challenge. Today I want to show you how to use Google Slides to make a choose your own adventure type story. In terms of what you want to add into your story, that's up to you. Um, feel free to be really creative. You might be doing a history story or something for English class or language, so it really depends on what theme you're looking at. Once you're in slides, one of the first things I want to show you is how to add a new slide to your slide deck. So you'll actually just go here, insert, and then down to new slide. Today, just for some fun, I'm going to pretend we were doing a Star Wars themed story. Now the first thing you're going to want to know how to do is change your background on your slide. So if you right click here, go change background, you can modify it. Now we just might want to put a color on our slide, but to make it a little bit more interesting, let's say I was looking to do a background similar to one of the planets from Empire Strikes Back, which was Hoth, and it was a snowy, icy planet. We're going to go with this one. Looks like a good hot scene. And then I'm going to click insert on that image that I want. And done. There, so my title page for my interactive Choose Your Adventure story is done. And I can put a title in here, so I'll put Star Wars themed. I may not have come up with a name yet, that's okay. You may refine that as you go through your design process for your your storyboard. Now you're going to want to customize your story a little bit. There's a text block here. I could leave that and add some more text on my title page. If I wanted to delete it, I could just kind of shrink it down there and hit delete while it's highlighted. Now when you go into your secondary um, slide here, let's change the background again. change the text color there and just show you how easy that is if I highlight. You can see I can go to white text which sometimes will come up a lot better than black or red or other colors on depending on the background. So the next when my story starts you can start on this slide and you're going to want to add a couple of options so let's say you have to make a decision of where to travel. So we're going to want to have two different buttons here on our next screen that act, add in that choose your adventure aspect. So there's a neat way to do that. What you're going to go to is up here into insert, go down to shape. Now there's all kinds of different shapes depending on if you're making a story that has sort of a survey option in it or different types of adventure. So you may have a dialogue going on between characters or your main character and the audience. So for that, you could add these little texting sort of dialogue windows. I'm gonna put one of those in just to show you what, and if I click, that's gonna insert it. You can also change the size of it. But you can right click here and edit text, not alt text, but edit text. And I'm going to make the one decision for where to travel here as a result of that story idea. So that might be my secondary option. And then obviously these two options in the choose your own adventure would go to different information in different story development. So that would take us further down the slides. The way that you're going to add your link to do that is, it's actually really straightforward. All you do is right click that option, so that button, so to speak, that we've made in our story. And you're going to go down to link. Now what we'll want to do here is choose slide 3. As you're, and then we're going to hit apply, or add, and then remove those after it, that, if that makes you easy, easier to plan. You may also want to sketch out your different story developments in a graph form with the different decisions where you're going to have to make a break in your slides. 
and that might be easier to, to plan it out if you're doing this over a couple of classes or a couple of sessions. So I'm going to also want to add, again, remember to insert more slides, you go up to insert and then new slide. I'm going to definitely want to have a fourth slide so that that secondary option on slide two can go to a different place than my first decision, which is going to go to slide three. So those are the really key features of today, changing and customizing your background. Another key feature is these options that you've linked in to work to take you to the other slide will not work until you put it into present mode. So happy making. Thanks for your time today. Hope you enjoyed it and looking forward to the next challenge.